1 John chapter 3. And man, there's some rich things in this chapter, but I haven't got time to go through all of this. I want to jump down to verse 16. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 16. It says, Hereby perceive we the love of God, because He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? You know, it's interesting that this verse follows the previous verse about here's how we perceive the love of God, because He gave, He did something. Just think what it would have been like if God had never sent His Son Jesus. And if we didn't have this example of how God was willing to become a man. You know, I can't even wrap my brain around that, but the more I think about it, it just amazes me that Almighty God would leave His almightiness aside and become a man, be limited to one spot and limited to being hungry and poor and having to walk around and, and be rejected and be and then ultimately give his life and be killed. It's just overwhelming. And to think that God did that, but it was, he demonstrated this love. And so the next verse says that if you see your brother or sister in need and shut up the bowels of compassion from them, how dwelleth the love of God in you? In other words, that's not God's kind of love. God's kind of love has to be expressed. You know, God is love. First John chapter 4, verse 8 says God is love. And God has to express His love. It has to be expressed. He doesn't just love in word. He loves in deed. And it's saying that if we truly have God's kind of love, then it has to manifest itself in the way that we help other people. And then in the next verse, look at this. It says, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. This is what the jollies are doing when they're helping these kids and doing things is reaching out and demonstrating it. And then in verse 19, and hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. This is what I was wanting to focus on tonight. And this is amazing to me that the scripture even says this. But it says, here's how you know that you are of the truth. And it's talking about through the demonstration of the love of God flowing through you. The way you show other people love. This is how you know that you are of the truth. And it says, and we assure our hearts before him. Did you know that most people don't, don't understand this, don't believe this? They think that if God is really with us, if God's power is really in us, then you just know it. We depend, you know, for instance, I've used this example a lot. But if I was to ask you, are you hot or cold right now? You wouldn't have to say, well, let me pray about it and I'll come back and tell you tomorrow. You don't have to think about it. You could just instantly, right now, respond and say, yes, I'm hot or yes, I'm cold or whatever. If I said, do you have pain in your body? You instantly know. You don't have to pray about it, think about it. If I was to ask you a question about your emotions and say, are you encouraged or discouraged? Are you sad? or whatever. You don't have to pray about it. You just monitor these things and we just know whether we feel good, whether we feel bad, whether we're hot or cold, hungry or whatever. But when it comes to spiritual things, I think that we just kind of assume that if God was really with us, if the anointing power of God was in us, we'd know it. And that's not true. This right here is saying that you have to assure your heart that you are of the truth and that God is with you and that His love is for you. You don't have to sit there and assure yourself, I am cool, I am cool, I am not hot. You know what, you just are what you are. But in the spiritual realm, you can't perceive what's going on in the spirit realm except through the Word of God. The Word of God at John chapter 6, verse 63, Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. And they are alive. And God's Word is how you perceive what's going on in the Spirit. You can't just feel what's going on in the Spirit. 